Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. Apologise for the... Well, it's not exactly bright outside, it's very dark actually. It's nearly 8 o'clock. Um, but as promised, I'm going to give you episode 6 of my Watchpile series. Um, so, two again this week. Um, but one of the titles got picked twice. Um, but So it's still as fair as it can possibly be and it's down to chance I have put the names in the wheel again I'll spin the wheel and as per usual whichever film is chosen I will watch and I will then review after I've reviewed it I will show you the next shelf which is the top shelf um, and you'll have pretty much a week because this will be going up tomorrow lunchtime so Wednesday lunchtime and you'll have a week to pick out the next one, basically. Um, not as strong, the top shelf. I'd say the middle shelf is probably the strongest. It's got quite a lot of good titles that I've just not got around to yet. But um, anyway, I'll get on with this, spin it. And then once we've got the film that it's going to be, I'll put it on and review it, like I say. So, here we go. Full Metal Jacket, which I believe, actually I, I don't know, um, I can't remember, two people did say it, but I can't remember exactly who, oh, I'm going to get it wrong, I think it was Paul Freeman, I believe he said it, and I think the other one that said it was Ash, Popcorn and Horror. Um, and then I also had Chariots of Fire as well, which I believe Roy picked. Um, but what I generally tend to do, which is what I did la with the last week's one, whatever title, if there's not that many, whatever title isn't picked, I still get it watched within the week. Um, so as I've done that, before I get on to watching that, I did also watch Carlito's Way on Sunday nights, two nights ago. Um thoroughly enjoyed it thought it was a fantastic film probably my favorite Pacino performance just a brilliant film fantastic soundtrack probably my favorite De Palma film probably controversial opinion but I preferred it more than Scarface uh, just it really got me the story in the ending I just really it hit me um, and the music choices was just perfect. As I say, Pacino's performance was just top. So was Sean Penn's. He was absolutely fantastic in it. Just a thoroughly enjoyable film. Um, and one that I will definitely be getting around to watching again. Hopefully sooner rather than later. So that's just a quick review on Carly Two's Way. What I'm going to do now is go put Full Metal Jacket on, which I believe is about two hours. Um, then I'm going to come back review it quickly and show you what the choices are for next week so i will be back shortly so i just got done watching full metal jacket um yeah my thoughts are quite um split on this one um it's definitely a film of two halves you have the first half of the film or i suppose it's well yeah it's about half just under half i would say which is boot camp, all at the boot camp, um, with the drill sergeant, um, what's his name, begins with a H, yeah, begins with a H, I can remember, Hartman, I think that's what it is, um, and kind of the pressures of these young men trying to prepare them for something that they, they can never prepare themselves fully for, um, and the press, like I say, the pressure and how brutal it is, the basic training itself and it flips after something happens halfway through and it goes to the front lines in Vietnam to the war following um, one specific character played by Matthew Modine who plays Joker following him um, navigating Vietnam um, and yeah, I am of the opinion I preferred the first half more than the back half. 
Um, for me, um, just a bit more interesting, had me engaged more, very tense. Don't get me wrong, the second half is also tense because it's a lot of war, a lot of people getting killed. Um, but it just didn't have my grasp as much as the first half. I was really invested with the first half. And I kind of lost a bit of concentration during that second half. Um, yeah, it, it, it's a good, it's still, regardless of me losing concentration slightly, it's still a fantastic film and it de definitely deserves to be called one of the best war films ever made because it is that, um, it is very well made film. It's a, uh, another perfect Kubrick, Kubrick, Kubrick film. And only my third Kubrick film I've seen. I've seen this. I've seen, obviously, The Shining quite a few times now. And I've seen Eyes Wide Shut. So I've seen his last three films. Um, so I need to go back earlier in his filmography. Um, I do believe, yes, the next shelf, which I shall show you in a minute, does have at least one of his other films um, that I've not seen. Um, so who knows that may get chosen, um, but yeah, Full Metal Jacket, good film, a, gr a great soundtrack as well, great cinematography, uh, the usual things that you look for in a great film uh, are there, and Arlie Emery, or er, Ermi, great as the drill sergeant, fantastic performance, highlight of the film, his performance for me, um, yeah, that is Full Metal Jacket. So as I say, next up, I'm going to get up, on, I'm going to have to stand on the chair because it's quite high up. So next up, we have everything on this shelf. I will go through ones that will be a rewatch and ones that are excluded because there are a few. Excluded from this is Batman and Batman Returns because I have seen that and not that long ago. Uh, Spider-Man 1 because I rewatched that not that long ago and 2 and 3 are rewatches for me. Um, what else is there? Just panning up just to see. Is there anyone here? This side. Do, 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 do. Can't see any that are rewatches. Amazing Spider Man 1 and 2 again will be rewatches for me. Um, yeah, and Fast 5 to 8 in that box set. Rewatches. As is night and day. So, yeah, they will all be rewatches. Sorry for the very unprofessional, uh, but it's the only way I can really do it that way. So, yeah, that's Full Metal Jacket. That is this week's episode of The Watch Pile done. As I said, Chariots of Fire, which was the other pick, I will aim to watch by the next video, next time I record the next video, next Tuesday, um, which I should be able to do easily, so I can give my brief thoughts on what I thought of that as well, quickly, at the start of the next video. Um, bit tight for the rest of this week, if you saw my short, um, the BFI London Film Festival starts tomorrow, so that's taken up my next two weeks pretty much, so I've got to try and make sure that I record videos at the right time. I'm going to try and get um, 31 Days of Horror tag video up on Saturday which Tim Cole tagged me in and I've only just seen so I will try and record and put that up Saturday morning um, so that's a, that'll be the Saturday video and then obviously you'll get this again next Wednesday but yeah that is it for this video if you liked it Make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and turn the notification bell on so you know when I have a new video uploaded to the channel. Let me know down below what do you think about Full Metal Jacket, where does it rank for you in terms of war films. I would love to hear your comments about it down below. And that is it, so until next time everyone, take care, goodbye.